Princess Jess and today I'm going to be giving it a little book haul or bookish haul. I haven't bought a load of books recently but over the summer I've been gifted a few books and just bought a few bookish items that I just really want to talk about and share. So without further ado, let's go. The first three books in my haul were gifted to me by one of my really good friends, Sam. I'm going to link Sam's um, Twitter down below so you can go and follow him. Um, he's literally one of the nicest people you've ever met in your entire life and for some reason he decided to bestow his kindness upon me and gift me some books to cheer me up. So you're the best. <laughs> the first book that he gifted me was American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name. I've heard it many different ways. Whatever. American Gods, the show that came out of American Gods recently. I heard a lot about it and it's not normally my sort of thing but to be honest I've heard lots of things about the book and it sounds really dark but maybe something that I'll definitely want to read like when it gets darker and creepier outside like around Halloween or something it's huge and I'm hoping to buddy read this with my boyfriend Connor this is the first one that he gifted to me which was a really lovely gift and I am really looking forward to delving into something really different for me the <laughs> second book that Sam gifted to me was Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishi Ishiguro. The only thing I've re ever really heard about Never Let Me Go was about the movie, but apparently Sam thinks I really like this, and to be honest, I'm looking forward to it. Like, it sounds like an interesting story. It doesn't look like a difficult read, but it looks like it will sort of make me think a lot, and I'm excited to get into that one. And the final book that Sam gifted to me was a very different one and to be honest I've never seen anything like this before but it is Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi and it's like it's a graphic novel basically apparently this is a very um, political story I'm not sure what it's about or who or when but I'm really excited to tr delve into something so different like I said like American Gods is kind of different genre wise but it's very much the um, format that I'm used to in novels and prose and stuff. This is just completely out of my comfort zone but I'm so interested to see what it makes me think and feel. So thank you Sam for those books, it's a lovely gift for me to receive and I wasn't expecting it. So the next two books were sort of half gifted, half paid for by me. Um, I don't know if anyone saw this but on Twitter there was a whole thing for a couple of, couple of days that was um, the bookish wish sort of trend that was happening it was a hashtag that was happening on twitter and it was where loads of people were taking pictures of books that they either didn't really want anymore or they were taking screenshots of like wish lists that they had for people to send each other books and all you had to do was pay for the postage i ended up coming across a tweet by a lovely girl called jordan i'll link her twitter down below i paid for the postage and she sent me two of her unhauled books the first book that I was sent by Jordan was Shiver by Maggie Stiebarter. As everyone on this channel already knows, I speak about it every single video. I love Maggie Stiebarter and a lot of her books. However, I haven't read the Shiver series. It's about werewolves, I think. Not sure. Again, I don't really know what it's about, but if I need to enter a new Maggie Stiebarter world, this is the one I'm going to pick up because I love her so much and if I like it I'll definitely read the others in the series as well. So thank you very much Jordan for sending me this. I'm very grateful that you decided to do your bookish wish and give some to me. The second book that Jordan sent me was Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare and as some people might know I read the Mortal Instruments series for the first time um, at the beginning of this year, sort of end of last year and I really enjoyed them. It was a real experience for me to enter this world that so many people love so late. Lady Midnight is the first book in the Dark Artifices series which is her third series I think, like the third Shadowhunters series. I still need to read um, the Infernal Devices, I think I'm going to try and read those first but since Jordan was getting rid of this I asked if I could have it. It is huge, like I am intimidated but again thank you so much Jordan for sending me those. Next book in my little summer book haul is one that I've been excited about for literally like a year. Ever since I found out that it existed, I was excited for it. One of my favourite YouTubers, Kayla Nicholson, who I'll link down below, she her channel was absolutely amazing and she's so inspirational, told her viewers that she was writing a fiction novel. She'd already brought out a non-fiction sort of self-helpy kind of book and 
but she told us that she'd always wanted to write the story that she'd had in her head since she was in high school. That book is Catcher by Kayla Nicholson. I have been excited for this book for the longest time and look how pretty it is, like I can't stop taking pictures of it. I have been uploading loads about it on Instagram. It's about a girl called Carson who when she was four years old her family had a car crash and her younger brother Axel died. After the incident she started dreaming of this boy called Grey and they grew up together in her dreams. Every night she would dream of him and they began sort of a like a friendship relationship in her dreams. And then one day Carson ends up moving across the city, I think, or the, the place where she lives, to go to a college and there she meets someone who looks exactly like Grey. And no one really is talking about this book because it's not a big YA release or anything. It's it's self-published and it's a YouTuber book so a lot of people will have a lot of expectations about it so I'm gonna be talking about it don't worry Catcher will be back I have two more things in this little summer haul and they're not books but they're book-ish so I just wanted to talk about them the first one is Love Simon the DVD of the film I went to see Love, Simon in the cinema. If you don't know, which you should, Love, Simon is the film adaptation of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Alwatali and it is a teen um, comedy rom-com film about a young man called Simon Spin who is in the closet. He's a closeted gay teenager um, just trying to get through life and he comes across someone in his school who anonymously came out online as gay and so they start emailing anonymously to each other and everything that happens around that and it is literally one of my favourite films now I love it so much, I've watched it so much since I bought it I had to buy it, I had to and the last thing in my summer bookish haul is something that arrived this morning um, and I'm already obsessed and that is the Raven's Prophecy Tarot set by Maggie Steve Arthur and I think everyone's gonna get sick of me talking about Maggie on this channel. This is a tarot card deck that was um, drawn and sort of brought to life um, by Maggie Steve Otter. Her artwork is absolutely incredible. It's got a really beautiful box and um, it comes with a book all about the cards and sort of how Maggie does readings in her typical voice and I love her voice and her writing style obviously. So all the cards are explained and sort of a lot of stuff about her her own deck and why she chose to do it like this and they are absolutely stunning i know it's going to sound dumb to a lot of people but i'm into it i i like the idea of being more spiritual and sort of letting the universe guide me in my life and we all need a bit of magic in our lives so that is it for my summer bookish haul as always my social media links are going to be down in the description below along with anything i've talked about in this video um, if you want to see what I'm reading as I'm reading it, then go follow my Goodreads account. Goodreads account. Also, I have a Bookstagram and a Twitter where I often talk about bookish things. So go and follow those as well. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you want to talk about any of the things that I've mentioned in this video. Also, subscribe for more bookish content in the future. And that is all for today. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Oh, you got me shook. I'm I can't. I'm I can't.